So are you tired of mowing around your playground, weed whacking around your playground, picking ticks off the kids around your playground? Well, me too. So today I'm going to show you the lazy way to mulch around your, your play area to help avoid with the bugs and the ticks and all that other stuff and give them a nice soft play area. This looks legit. So let's go ahead and get started with the stuff you'll need for today's project. And it should be a quick one day project. You know me, I like them quick and easy because I ain't got time for shit. So after you got all the cardboard down because I don't want to pull all this thought up. So the cardboard will have to act as a barrier to block the sunlight out to so kill the grass. And then I'm just going to spray it down. And then put all that mulch on it. Alrighty, I made some progress. <clears throat> I ended up using a ton of cardboard. I had to get some more. So this is the area that's done right now. And we have it about three inches thick, but we do plan on adding more. And it's really nice. And about two cubic yards. I mean, two cubic yards will do an area about 20 by 20. So I got three more cubic yards to finish off this edge and looks pretty good and the big thing is try to find the biggest boxes that you can and just overlap it go crazy and don't forget before you do a section make sure to spray it down and then tape any of your edges and i'm really glad we're doing this because i won't have to mow it anymore and it's just gonna really set off this play area. Play area. And inside that little house here, we have AstroTurf. And then our boxes do run in, and then we're gonna cut cut the extra off, and then put the AstroTurf back down. That way, this is zero maintenance because we ain't got time for nothing extra. So I put a torp down whenever I'm transferring, so that way I can catch it. And then I'm using a wheelbarrow. And got hose, rake, hard work probably works better, but that's good for spreading it out. And then I'm using a snow shovel, but mostly the pitchfork. The pitchfork works the best you don't get stuck as much but you can't transfer as much but once you get lower it's good to just use the good old snow shovel that's a couple yards to go and there you have it so about 12 by 25 feet area I use five cubic yards I plan on putting the fence here so I'm not really worried about that edge the biggest thing is to make sure not to cheap out and put it at least three inches thick because it's going to settle. It's going to thin out. If you really want to do it right, you want to go closer to four. But this is certified playground mount mulch. And basically they pick all, pick all the stuff out of it and then they don't dye it. And then to help keep the ticks away from all this, you're wanting to get the cedar ball mix. I guess ticks don't like the smell of cedar, but they also don't like walking on this, according to whatever the internet said. But yeah, this quick, easy project it was just really hot today. And yeah, the biggest thing is get more cardboard than you need just in case you change your mind later. Luckily, I just had enough. So I had to get more cardboard to finish up this section, this section, and then we're just out of cardboard. And I probably would have went with one more yard because my yard's got a little bit of a dip here and I would have liked to fill that up a little bit more. So maybe after I put the fence in, I'll get some more mulch and touch it up. Thank you all for watching today. I'm sorry this was a quick video, but I didn't think it really needed too much instruction. The biggest thing is put down a bunch of cardboard 
so the grass doesn't get any sunlight to it and you'll be fine and the rest of the mulch will weigh it down and if you have any like hills or inclines just be aware before the cardboard kind of starts to break down the mulch is going to be a little slippery and that's why you spray it down but your kids might slip and fall on it so try to use this method on flat areas it's basically the no-till method that a lot of farm uh, not farmers gardeners use but yeah and it adds a nice scent to your yard so thank you all for watching i'll see you next time